Greetings everyone and welcome to Mectasia. This is a two part tutorial. In the first half, I will show you everything you need to know about 3D Sketch, 2D plane creation on 3D Sketch, and sweep feature in Sortworks to perform electrical routing. In the second half, I will show you how to combine these commands to do electrical routing. To get the most out of it, try to work alongside me. So, with that being said, let's get started. Open the Sortworks in part mode. To start the 3D sketch, go in the sketch and select the 3D sketch. We are in 3D sketch now. Note that to start a 3D sketch, there is no need to select any plane. Click on the line. X, Y axis will appear on the screen. Draw a line and every time you click on the screen to complete a line, the X, Y axis will switch its position and you can move in that direction. You can change the direction of X, Y axis by rotating the sketch. Not when I have rotated the screen and the screen became approximately normal, the X, Y axis direction automatically changed. Now I can draw on this plane. Another important thing to know is that one can change the direction of the X, Y axis by pressing the tab on the keyboard. Every time you press the tab on the keyboard, the X, Y axis orientation will change and you will be able to draw in that. I am pressing tab to change the direction. One can add fillets where two lines are waiting. This can be used to specify the bend radius of the wire or a pipe. If you click on any line of the 3D sketch, line properties will appear. You can use these relations to make the line along any of the global axes. One can also create a plane on the end point of the 3D sketch. By selecting the 3D sketch first and then selecting the end point. This is one of the most useful type of plane when it comes to electrical routing, piping and surface modeling in Sortworks. Now we can start a sketch on this plane and draw any shape on it. So now we have everything to create a sweep body, profile and the path. Select sweep, in the profile use sketch 1 and in the path select the 3D sketch we created. Click the green tick to see the results. If you want to create a circular profile sweep body, then there is no need to create a plane. In that case, you can go in the sweep and select circular profile. Select the 3D sketch in the path. Give it a radius, click the green tick to see the results. Now you can see the sweep body has multiple faces. To make it a single face, one can use fit spline. Delete the sweep.
edit the 3D sketch, go in the tools, spline tools, and then select the fit spline. Select every line in the 3D sketch. Unselect the close up line and then select the green tick. Now create the sweep again and see the difference. This time the body has one face. Now again start a 3D sketch and this time click on the spline. Again the XY axis will appear on the screen and it is not necessary to start from the origin. You can start from anywhere. Every time you click the XY axis will switch its position. You can change the direction of XY axis by rotating the screen and making it almost normal or by pressing the tab on the keyboard. To create a plane on the 3D sketch, select the 3D sketch and then select the end point or any point on the 3D sketch. Now we can start the sketch on the plane we created and draw any shape we want and then create a sweep body from it. I want to tell you a few important things about 3D sketch with splines. You can change the shape of the spline by these control points and move them in the 3D space or you can use these handles to manipulate the shape of the spline. You can add spline point on the existing spline. To do so right click on the spline and select insert spline point and then left click on the spline to add the control point. You can turn on the curvature cones to see the smooth transition of the bends in the curve. This is the model I will use to show you the process of electrical routing. If you want to learn how to create PCB enclosure like these, you can watch the tutorial from here. If you want to work alongside me, you can download the model from the link given in the description. I will show you how to route this SMA straight plug to SMA right cable in Solvers. Note I have already placed the SMA straight and SMA right part of the cable in the assembly. Let's start the routing process. Go in the assembly, in insert component select new part. Name the model wire. Exit the sketch, change the unit to millimeters. Start a 3D sketch. Select the center of the connector inside the face. Rotate the model to change the direction of X, Y axis. Now follow the process. For the other end of the wire, select center of the inner surface of the straight SMA of the RF cable. Select the endpoint handle and make it along X axis. 
Select this handle and make it along Z axis. Again you can create a plane to create a circular profile. Or in sweep feature, select circular profile. Give it a dimension of 4.5 mm and click the green tick. Change the appearance of the wire to solid green. Now I will show you how to do the same with straight lines in a 3D sketch. Straight line give you more control but less flexibility. Again start the 3D sketch but this time select line. Follow the process. Add the optimal bend radius Use sweep to create the wire. If you want a single phase, you can use fit spline as I showed in the first part of the video. One more advantage of using a straight line is that you can find the wire length by using the smart dimensions. If you do have any questions with what we covered in this video, then feel free to ask in the comment below. I will do my best to answer them. If you enjoy this tutorial and like to support them, the easiest way is to simply like the video. Be sure to subscribe for future videos and thank you for watching.